What's up guys, welcome back, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, uh, we're working on the F30 and we got so much things done. Like I mean, the amount of transformation we got done in the last two videos is insane. Shout out to Keys Motorsports for partnering up for this video and also shout out to Vinyl Frog for partnering up in this video as well. Um, this F30 is just, it's looking pretty awesome. And I'm really, really, really happy for my partners for allowing to make this happen on a budget, which is amazing. If you guys like the wrap or the modifications that are put on this car, make sure to check out those links down below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the video. So the first thing I wanted to go ahead and knock out on the F30 was the door handles. Um, this is like a common thing with the F chassis. The inner door handles tend to get very, very, very sticky. I think it even happens with X5, 7 Series, and a bunch of other cars um, to the point to where you literally have gunk every single time you get inside of your car on your hands and it gets super annoying. As you guys can see, I have like a napkin put on there. Um, otherwise, you know, my hands would just be disgusting every single time I get in the car. It'd be super annoying. It's very sticky. Um, so that's something we actually ended up swapping out with the Keys Motorsports products. Um, they have it either in just regular black or they also have in like a dipped carbon which i think looks pretty sick so i went with the dipped carbon option and uh, again this is a permanent fix for this it's not going to happen again uh, once you actually replace it with these new products that keys offers so yeah, let's just go ahead and get that installed because that's one of the most annoying things about this car Once we got them all installed, it's looking so sick. Uh, the next thing I want to do is a JD Cars wireless charging dock for the F30. This is a pretty high-end uh, wireless charger for the F chassis. I've always been wanting to do one of these on my car. I think I did it on my friend's car recently, like in the past. Um, I have a DIY video. There's a bunch of DIY videos on how to install this, uh, but I just want to kind of show you guys the product. It is a complete replacement trim, not just like a thing you throw in there in your car and you wirelessly charge it. No, it actually replaces your whole center trim with a wireless charging dock. Um, um, there's a few clips you need to replace. You do need to transfer over your cigarette lighter. Um, but honestly, after you do all that, very easy stuff. You have an OEM-like wireless charger in your F30, which is so sick. And you get to still use your cigarette lighter if you want to. So um, yeah, it's pretty sick. Again, it looks like OEM. Um, it functions like OEM. Just a nice little addition to the interior to make it look super clean. On top of the fact that we got Apple CarPlay, which looks amazing. You already know. But anyways, at this point, guys, we're going to get into the wrapping. So without further ado, let's just go ahead, get this car prepped up and start wrapping this bad boy. Guys, this color, I mean, me, my brother, shout out to my brother for coming in the middle of the night right now. We're just trying to get some stuff done, so shout out to you, bro. Uh, but guys, like me and my brother looking at this color. <laughs> oh my God, bro, it's so nice. I mean, it's got a bunch of scratch marks, as you guys can see right now. We do have to go over this with a heat gun. All the scratches are pretty much come out, so I'm not really and worried again, about man, that. And again, man, the camera, it's not doing it justice. Like, it's, it's really not, it's not. Like, it's so gorgeous, bro. It I was is. really thinking about wrapping the E91 M3 in the exact same color. But I mean, we don't want to do this exact same color, but it just looks that good. It's kind of insane. And of course, with the, the GTS taillights, the tinted out ones we have right over here. Bro, look at these two colors together. <laughs> bro. Oh, can you, like, try, like, just... I can try to test fit one real quick. God, bro. Bruh. 
<laughs> that looks oh so good. Oh my god. Is there a Yay. tint on this? God, dude, that. That's insane, bro. Now, now I wish it was a 335. <laughs> that's so sick. Anyways, we're going to continue wrapping. That's finally the first piece we ended up wrapping, guys, is the trunk. Looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm not going to put in the taillights just yet. Uh, I want to do that a little bit in the morning. In the meantime, I think we should knock out these quarter panels, huh? Let's do it. Let's close the garage and do it. It's cold. Green with the black looks so nice. Man. I know, it looks so good <laughs> to get it, bro. <laughs> oh my god, dude. So guys, this is the next morning. We have the F30 kind of chilling right there. And honestly, guys, I love this color. This color, honestly, has been a color I've been meaning to do for so, so, so long, but I never actually found a company that has it like exactly the way I like it. And Vinyl Frog has it. It's not really called Urban Green, um, but it's a style of Urban Green um, that looks super good. So uh, I really want to get at least this rear end done by this video. I mean, me and my brother pretty much knocked out this quarter panel, the rear trunk. This trunk was in two pieces. It took us a lot of time just to do those two pieces. So today, the goal is so I get this video out to you guys in time. I want to do the other quarter and possibly the rear bumper so we can put on the tail lights and actually have a functioning car if we need to move it in nine. Plus, I'm not gonna lie, the urban green with the black looks super good together, but with this rear bumper like in gray, <laughs> it does not look good. So I want to wrap it so we can get the whole rear end to match. I think it's gonna look so good. And a few moments later, we did finish up this quarter panel. This quarter panel came out so much better than this side, mainly because we made a rookie mistake. So this section right over here, we didn't actually clean this, um, which basically dropped down dirt. And then we got some dirt in the wrap right over here. That is a complete user mistake. Um, the other side didn't have a gas cap. So once we actually cleaned the surface, um, it came out absolutely perfect. So I'm super happy about that. If we do have extra wrap, I think eventually I'll probably redo this side. But for now, I'm happy with it. I don't want to use up any extra wrap and then we don't have enough wrap for the bumpers and whatnot. So that's a big piece of the car. I think that's like a 10, a 10 feet piece right there. But anyways, we got one of the tail lights in. It looks super good with the wrap and I cannot wait to get it all connected. But in the meantime, I don't want to put together any of that stuff just yet. I want to get the bumper wrapped. I want to get the side skirts wrapped and I want to get all four doors wrapped i think that's all gonna get done in today's video so you guys are about to see this entire transformation from the most part from here back hopefully by the end of this video so without further ado let's go ahead and get into it
and about a few hours later, oh my god, me and my brother are absolutely exhausted. I don't know what it is about wrapping, especially sitting on concrete, but it gives you like this massive headache. Um, when you're sitting on the concrete wrapping the side skirt. So, anywho, we took like a two hour break. I still have this headache. It's not because of food we just ate. So, long story short, I'm really hoping that's not gonna affect our performance in wrapping this thing ASAP. But anywho, we're gonna knock out the two front doors real quick and uh, I think that's almost gonna be calling it a day. That's pretty much gonna complete pretty much the whole center of the car. Um, and then the last thing we'll need is the rear bumper to pretty much complete it from the rear all the way to the front fenders pretty much. Um, so long story short, I do think we might have time to actually get this bumper done in this video as well, mainly because I really want a thumbnail of like the car from the back being fully complete. And then hopefully in part two of this uh, wrapping, we'll get the whole car wrapped up um, because that front bumper also takes forever. If any of you guys ever wrapped anything before, the front bumper is normally the worst part and people normally wait for last to do that because that thing takes too much energy, too many man hours. Um, but anyways, anyways, so far so good. Super happy with this vinyl, super happy with the color. It's gonna look so good when it's fully put together. Not to mention, I actually slapped in those two GTS tail lights right there and it looks so good. I'm super happy I went with the smoked out ones instead of the red ones. I, I think it looks really, really, really good um, with this color scheme that I'm going with. We have the carbon diffuser down there. Once this bumper matches it as well, we're gonna have a carbon fiber spoiler up here as well. And I just think this rear end's gonna look so aggressive. And actually on top of all of that, uh, we have a 335 dual exit exhaust. We have an AFE exhaust with black gloss black tips it's gonna look super sick all the mods you guys are seeing again is from keys motorsports if you guys like anything that you guys see on this car make sure to check them out first link down below but anyways we're gonna go ahead knock out two more doors wish us luck It's a little late right now, but guys, I want to get this rear bumper wrap today. And about 12 hours later, guys, check out this rear end. We got the carbon fiber diffuser. We got the side markers on there, and it just looks so, so, so good. We still need to put the outer tail lights from Keys Motorsports, the GTS tail lights. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and admire this rear M Sport bumper as well. It just looks so good. And like I said, guys, an M Sport bumper is just a requirement for F30s. It makes it look so much more aggressive. Check out those side skirts as well. I don't really have the lights on right now, but you guys can see how good it looks with this wrap as well. I'm super happy everything things really coming together we have all four doors done both quarter panels done um side skirts both done rear bumper done trunk done that's pretty much about like 70 to 80 percent of this car and for some reason i don't know why but i just feel like this interior is just meant for this color combo as well like like the red stripes the black seats and just the red and aluminum trim i just think it looks super sick let me know down below if you guys agree um i think the last thing i'll need is honestly tense um, once we get everything else dialed in with this car, we still need to put on an exhaust. We still have a few more maintenance things we got to get done on this car. But for the most part, it is coming together so fast. And uh, yeah, it's probably one of the fastest builds I'm honestly doing. If you guys do like this wrap color, honestly, if you guys want a wrap that's really easy to put on and not mess up, um, check out Vinyl Frog. I'm not going to lie. They did send me out this wrap and I never actually heard of them before. But honestly, I'm very, very, very happy with the quality of the material. Um, what's super nice about it is that I used a lot of heat. It stretches a lot. And because the material is so thick, um, I didn't tear through it whatsoever. Like I literally did pieces that otherwise I would have had to like do a multiple pieces. Like for example, this little section right here, I just overheated it and I got to tuck in this entire section. This is all one piece. I didn't actually overlay any multiple pieces or anything like that. That's all one piece. This is all one piece. That's all one piece. This whole bumper was one piece, which is kind of impressive. Again, because it's a thicker material, it does require more heat. It doesn't have as much flexibility without heat. So as long as you have a heat gun, which is a requirement for uh, wrapping cars, this vinyl is very good and like I said for beginners I think this is a great wrap to use even for professionals it's a great wrap to use especially considering the color combinations they have and I'm just checking out Freddie's making it up on my drive here right now that's just like our friendly neighborhood cat so anywho he wants food <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this video guys uh, shout out to my brother for coming and helping me the past couple days wrapping this car um, it's honestly this this car has been a mission trying to get sorted and put fully put together like ASAP like, we've been knocking out this car in the last two weeks like crazy um, so I mean we literally just have a hood two fenders and a front bumper and this car is gonna be fully one color Which is gonna be super sick. I'm leaving the side mirrors black. I'm leaving the door handles black I'm leaving the the roof black. I'm leaving Freddie right there <laughs> 
I do think those black accents look really good and I'm super happy the car is black so I don't have to wrap any of that stuff. Like the shark fin is super hard to wrap. Um, we got the roof, I don't have to wrap that anymore. The little side pieces on the roof, I don't have to wrap. Uh, door handles are not fun to wrap either. So considering that it's already in black, I think I'm gonna leave it. Plus I'm a type of guy that likes contrast on a car so I think it looks super sick. But anyways guys, that is gonna have to conclude the video. If you guys wanna see this thing fully wrapped up, hopefully the GTS lights, a carbon fiber spoiler, and a few other goodies, make sure to smash the like button. But without further ado guys, that is gonna have to conclude the video. So all of y'all so much remember to stay humble. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.